Are you somebody that struggles with manual focus with your camera? Well, you're only gonna have two choices. One, you could always just suck it up. Or two, you could actually get somebody to do it for you. And what makes it easier to do is by using, well, this. Today's video is going to be about the Axoon FC01 follow focusing system. This is a really useful tool if you guys are trying to dial in your manual focus. And at its price point and its function, this is something I recommend for you guys that are in video production or in filmmaking. Let's talk about it. Now this video is not sponsored by Axum. However, they did send me the FC01 in order to review it for the channel. In terms of the packaging, the FC01 has everything that you need for this focus system to work in a comfortable carrying case. It has all the necessary cables so you can power the motor to your camera or to an external battery. It also comes with a small battery that you can power the focus control system with so you don't have to find different ways how to charge this battery on your own. Now there's also a rod clamp and a 15 millimeter rod here as well, which means if you wanna rig this up to any of the cameras that you're using, you don't have to go and buy those parts externally and it's nice that I don't have to look for external parts in order to mount this onto my camera. I just picked up a new Suray anamorphic lens and it's not an autofocusing lens but it also has the grooves on it so I can hook up the FC01 in order to dial in my manual focus and I'm also somebody that uses a DZO vest with primes quite a bit so this is going to be a handy tool for those situations. Now if you're somebody that doesn't have manual focus lenses Axion actually has you here. They do have a focus ring that you can attach onto any lens so if you're using something like a Sony G Master lens or any photography lens without those little grooves on the side you're still able to use this ring on those lenses and it is compatible with using the focus motor so you don't have to worry but what i will say is that when you are getting this ring onto your lens you want to make sure that it's on the farther side of the axion motor you want to make sure the actual connection point where you put the ring on is far enough from the motor so when you calibrate it it doesn't hit it and throw off your calibration which might screw up the entire thing and what i do like about this system a lot is that the motor and the control unit are going to be powered via usb-c which means it's going to be easier to hook up to different things like power powering the motor itself via USB connection into my FX Lion battery or on the control unit itself when I need to do a firmware update. Now in terms of the build quality, the focus motor itself is pretty standard. It's made out of plastics and metals that connects onto a 15 millimeter rod that you could hook up into your camera rig. And then in terms of the focus control, it is actually a half metal, half plastic combination. The ring is metal, it feels nice and sturdy and it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off. But at the same time, the plastic casing for the rest of that focus control system means that it's going to be lightweight and easy to move around. Now, when I am using the control system and dialing in my focus, I don't notice that it's actually going to be very stiff. The ring is actually incredibly smooth and easy to use. And I actually really do like using this for my manual focusing. Now, setting up this follow focusing system is incredibly easy. All I have to do is make sure that obviously both of them are turned on and there's a pairing button on both the motor and the control unit itself. Once both are ready to be paired, they actually find each other and connect pretty easily. Now in other videos, I've mentioned a follow focusing system where I like having the hard stop so I have my in and my out points when I'm lining up a shot. And on the Axion FC01, it also has that function as well. In fact, you can actually program your A and your B point, your in and your out on the motor itself. And as you turn it, it's gonna be represented by a percentage and it's actually not gonna go past that point of focus, even if you rotate the ring a little bit farther than where you need it to be. And if you're somebody that's left or right-handed or you just have a preference, you can actually set the clockwise or the counterclockwise motor function. So if you're turning the ring forward, you could judge whether or not that's gonna go close or near focus and the same thing going vice versa. Now the latency for the system is actually pretty good, which means that if you don't have incredibly fast moving objects, it's gonna be easier for you to dial in your focus without too much lag. Now, in terms of the pricing for this follow focusing system, the Axion FC01 is only $279 US, which makes it a little bit more expensive than if you were to go for a non-electronic setup, but it's a little bit cheaper than something like the Tilted Nucleus Nano. And the fact that it's gonna give me similar focusing features and I get to save 20 bucks, that's something that I'm never gonna be upset about. However, the Axion FC01 is something that's not without flaw. And although Axion sent this to me and they have no control over what I'm gonna say in this video, there are some things that I don't like. Now, there is a quick release system on the FC01 that you can mount this onto your camera rig. And you could do that by using one of the plates that come with it on the back of the follow focusing system. However, I wish they kind of formulated this to make it a little bit easier to mount onto your camera. It actually took me a little while to figure out what parts I needed or how I needed to configure my camera rig in order to mount this onto the side of my camera. And honestly, the only other thing that I don't like about the Axion FC01 is the fact that you only pull focus using one hand if you actually want to see any of the screen options. And there's actually no way that I know of that you could turn that right side up to make it easier for you guys that pull focus on your right hand. 
that being said, if you're somebody that's getting into pulling manual focus majority of the time, and either you're trying to do it yourself or you're just gonna call up a friend, the Axion FC01 is a great tool and incredibly useful that I recommend that you add to your kit. That being said, a special thanks to Axion for sending me this unit for review. It actually kind of took me a little while to do this full review for it, but I do like this system and I will be using it on my future shoots with using a lens that we're gonna talk about in, well, this video over here.